last question. You said everyone hit up your phone the day that you got released. You mentioned Scott Demore. Um, I, I think a lot of people was heartfelt to see John Cena posted on his Instagram. Was there one that surprised you that reached out, uh, whether for business or just gratitude? No, I, I got a, 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 a yes, of course, and uh, I like to keep it private because there's Fair some real special ones. But man, seeing. The Rock and John Cena post about me while I was like, oh, I go, I can't be online. I can't do this today. I go, uh, and just seeing that and going, even those guys who I'm not super close with, but I've had some interaction, especially John. We, we up and down, we've done some stuff, and uh, vent. I vented to him a couple times, and I've also chewed him out a few different times about what I did not care about what the company was going on and things like that. But also, whatever it comes down to, he's one of the absolute best professionals, wrestlers we could ever have. And there's a reason we call him the greatest of all time or whatever we call him now because he's earned it. And the, having that and the, one of the biggest movie star in the world, The Rock, those guys mentioning my career as I'm off Twitter, for that, that, is, that makes no sense to me because also you go, the next day, is it over? Does anyone care anymore? Am I, am I as good? Am I out of New York? So now nobody cares. How can I get them back? And so far they've stuck with me, and I will never ever give anyone a reason to turn their back on me. 